Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Diva Stephanie Princess, and today I am back with a new video. I was supposed to post on last Monday. I was supposed to get up, get ready, film, and post this last Monday, but tragedy struck, and a member of a Korean girl group, Sully, she passed on Monday morning, and I couldn't do anything. So I like just shut down for the week. I was very upset, very sad. It is Friday of that exact week. And I'm finally just gonna, I'm gonna get back into the flow and finally post this Monday. Um, sorry I took the break, but I know I was trying to post diligently for the rest of October, but things happen. Um, can't always control it, can't always help, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I just want to have a quick moment of silence for her really quickly, so I'm just gonna take a pause. Okay, moment of silence over. Now, like I said, I'm kind of sad that I'm trying to pick myself up. I kind of cried all of Monday and mostly this week. I also took a social media break on Monday as well, so that was a lot as well. Um, but let's finally get into this video. So let's go. So the video today is going to be a talk with me and get ready to be going to be a full-on get ready with me um we're going to get ready and i'm going to talk about you know since it's spooky season um i really really like k-dramas i might have like watched maybe towards 100 or over 100 by now i like k-dramas manner dramas dramas of any time as long as it's dramatic i love drama so i watch a good amount of k-dramas today we're going to be talking about one that like creeped me out a good amount so let's get into it first things first gotta watch this hold up so today we're going to be talking about a show on netflix it's a netflix show it's a netflix original show and it is called possessed i'm using the clinique facial show i know i said i was going to try and use more vegan all of the stuff that i'm using is cruelty free number one it's cruelty free but uh vegan i just i'm currently broke and my mother works at clinique so she has a bunch of uh, free stuff that she gets from it with her gratis because she does really good sales. Love my mama. Um, but and so I have a bunch of Clinique, I have a good amount of Clinique products. Uh, so we're going to just move along. Ready the first wash face. But yeah, so it's a show on Netflix called Possessed. The reason why it's called Possessed is because it's a paranormal show. And a lot of the characters, if not all the characters, do end up getting possessed at one point. So the the story overall, I'm not gonna like it's the um, we have main characters, but the main antagonist is in one of the main characters of the story, of course. And the story is mostly following in his perspective. But you see, like, of course, like the main protagonist, but like it's. A show mainly that follows everything that the main antagonist, the main antagonist does. So, the main antagonist is a serial killer. He's killed over 30 people. And he was finally caught 15 years ago. And he was put on death row, so he's dead. <laughs> yeah. He was put on death row. And he was on the throw it's been 15 years since he was captured and put on the throw and killed and there are killings go around that are copying his killings his mo his mo which if you don't know what an mo is is um kind of what every serial killer does that you're like okay it's specifically the serial killer that whether that be like writing on the dead body or attacking a certain type of killer or the way that they kill is of a certain MO. This serial killer specifically, his MO is he wants his it's always very brutal. It's a very brutal death. It's very it's usually brutal or it's a plain old gunshot and then you bleed out from the gunshot and that's how you die. And he always puts a mirror in front of your face so that you can watch yourself die. 
It's it's usually what happens is he'll kill you, and he wants you to stare straight into your eyes as the as like the life drains from your eyes. That's his ammo. So there is another serial killer going around. One second, I need to pick up the wrong gasoline. I need to put that in the trash. Cause that's an empty. So there is a copycat serial killer going around, and he's very invested. The first person he kills happened to be the cop that caught the original serial killer. He caught him and he was attacked drunk as he was walking drunk on the streets. And he was killed by that person. So he's dead. And that's, uh, that doesn't help. But he comes back at one point. And... Immediately... The copycat serial killer decides to do something real creepy like and real thank goodness that uh, I hope that don't really happen IRL. Uh, he decides to bring back the original serial killer. Now the original serial killer has all types of problems which is a, a don't do that in my opinion because bro got a lot of problems. problems he, he we don't want him here but he decides to bring him back his uh proceeds to bring his spirit back and he brings him back in the form of a shaman usually when a shaman you know brings back a person they have to you know how do you say channel them through their body so like they don't dissipate because usually if you're not inside of a body you dissipate in like the air within like seconds so you have to have be in a body to be a spirit that's already gone on and come back. So he brings them back and they decide to do the most. They kill the shaman and he the spirit of proceeds the serial killer proceeds to absorb her her soul and which means he absorbs the powers of a shaman because those are the powers that come to play a lot in the show because there are like multiple shamans during the show um you're supposed to be heaven blessed and your powers can be taken away if you use them for wrong or use them for personal gain because there is a character who he was a shaman and he decided to use his powers to make money off of them in the form of a fortune teller and he lost his powers but some of them still lingered and he can do like certain things indefinitely so they kill her he's absorbed her and all her powers as a shaman and now we have a very strong serial killer that's not okay so we're gonna move along and literally he gets out into the world, he starts absorbing souls, he absorbs a good amount of souls. The two, the two main, tagon, main, main protagonists are trying to hunt his behind down and it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, and they eventually get him in the end, and like that's the end of the show. Of course they were going to get him in the end, like it seems like there's one of those shows that's like ha 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 ha, I'm just here to, 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 to just mess everything up <laughs> and move on. And like you're very frustrated at the end of the show. You're like maybe there'll be a season two, uh, but no, it's one scene of the season, and everything turned, everything like happens out in the end. That's not the main reason why I find this show excessively creepy. Let's get into the real BS of the show. So if you're planning to watch it now that I've talked a little bit about it, um, click off now unless you really want spoilers. And sometimes I want spoilers, so I watch stuff anyway. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Sometimes I want spoilers. So if you want to watch it but you want good spoilers, let's go. So, the main thing about this show that I despise but also love is it reminds me of one of my least favorite Shakespeare plays besides good old Romeo and Juliet. I ain't never seen somebody so stupid in my life. <laughs> but besides despising Romeo and Juliet, um, I despise Hamlet, and if you don't know what Hamlet is, it is a Shakespearean play about a young man who's trying to get revenge for his parent, for his, specifically his father, who he believes was killed in, was um, killed unfairly, and his mother immediately 
proceeded to remarry after his father's death and he she ended up remarrying his uncle so he sees his spirit one night and he's like mm, i'm gonna get revenge for my dad and he does the most by asking to be or not to be eventually they go on this whole overtly dramatic idea of i need to kill him or it's just not gonna sit well with me so eventually it all goes down <laughs> stepdad ain't the only person that died another a female character she's the first to die she committed suicide um and the next few characters is his mom dies his friend dies uh, the stepdad dies, and the friend also, his uh, sister, which I did not mention, was like the main character's I think lover at one point, and she dies. He dies, and finally the main character Hamlet dies, and they went prison to tell his story. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. So if you watch Possessed and you feel like you need to get, you know, how you say, attached to a character, don't. Cause that bitch gonna end up dead <laughs> except for one singular character in the entirety of the story which happens to be the main female protagonist her friend now, i haven't told you their names mostly because it's i kind of yeah forget them sometimes it's been a second since i watched the show but i remember everything because he picked me up strap that <laughs> it was i'm so sorry the charm was the main protagonist, the main female protagonist, her name is Sojong. Sojong. And we're just going to call her So. Um, and the main male, uh, the main male protagonist, um, Peter Song, we're going to call him Song. Uh, so and Song. So and Song. No, that's too close. We'll, we'll say Peter and Song. Peter and Song. Peter and Song. Okay. Pill is a cop. Pill is a cop, so that makes it the reason why they're going after City Hill more extremely helpful. Sung is a clothing retailer. She does. She sells clothes mostly online, but she goes. But then they're usually sold as like, oh, one time only. She's scamming you, I promise. Because uh, really, a lot of these clothes are like real life, just. I'm using the uh, Skin Foods which I put a sticker on because I was bored but the skin food marrow sugar blend eyes this one is in the mousse a la plum chocolate and I got mine off of yes style I got mine off of yes style so you don't even see my setup like that bro but yeah so I think I'm gonna go on with this burgundy color this is the fuzzy then I tried looking for that other cute little beauty palette but could not get hold of it. Let's go for a push. But Sol, so is a use that, that's stupid. But so is a shot also a shaman. She can speak see and speak with the dead, those that have passed. And of course we all think that's super really, really interesting. But not only can she see and speak with the dead, Mama can lend people her power. So her and Pill meet randomly because he's chasing down a another criminal, and he's like, "Grab that criminal!" And him and the criminal get into a scuffle. He's like, "Grab the criminal!" And she's confused because Pill is dressed like the usual Korean detective he's got on like a jacket he's just got on a white shirt he don't look all that put together he got a beard going on probably a shower in like a day or two um <laughs> and she's confused and she attacks him because the other person that he's scuffling with kind of looks like a real upstanding dude he's got on a suit he's got on a tie he's doing well in life and this song don't look like that This one don't look all that well doing in life, you know? He don't look like he's doing the best. He look like he might be doing a little drugs. <laughs> he might be alcoholic and he might have like, you know, a type of maybe one or two people is what he looks like. So she attacks him, she takes he takes her to the police station because you just attacked the cop, you can't do that. <laughs> 
Um, and I think we went to the police station to get questioned and stuff. And then he drives her back to her house. They meet because they live in the, a, like the same town. Because they live in like the same town, they see each other like once or twice more. And they start talking and stuff. Now, yes, in the end, they do end up dating or whatever, so. That's interesting on its own. Um, but literally, they meet once more or twice, and he she invites him inside her house. Yeah. Interesting. Yes, I know. I can't remember the real reason why she he went inside her house, but like, yeah. She goes inside her house and she tells him that she can see and speak to the dead. She's got all these talismans on the wall. She put like a whole thing down. She opened the, wi opened the window and all the spirits she just fly out. But she tells him that she can see and speak to those that have passed. And he's like, this, I don't believe you. Stop joking with all. And she's like, okay, you don't believe me. She has a the ability to allow you to borrow her powers. And she lends him her powers. And you're like... You believe her now? Because I believe her now. <laughs> like, if someone just was like, hey, yo, I can lend you my powers of being a superhero, and you be a, kind of a superhero too, you believe that they were a superhero. I can lie to you. So, he, she lends him her powers, and he, he proceeds to be like, oh my gosh, yeah, now I understand. Not only that, when she takes her powers back, because it's only temporary that she lends you, your power, she lends you her powers, uh, she can take them back. So now he can see and speak to ghosts. So that would spur, this is what spurs like the rest of the story is that he can now also see and speak to ghosts and he's got to be careful because if you speak to a ghost, if you see a ghost, don't really speak to it because it'll start following you around. But there's this whole funny bit, I think it's the only funny part of this show except for like one or two other scenes because it gets real morbid after that, um, is that he goes through this thing where he lives in this odd apartment, in this odd basement apartment and he realizes that he's been living in the same house as two ghosts his grandfather and his granddaughter and they died in the house and they won't leave and he goes on this whole spurring thing of how do I get these mofos to leave it's hilarious I think it's hilarious at least I don't know how I like to feel something like this but I think it's hilarious So, he goes on this entire thing of trying to get them to leave. They don't leave. Eventually, he just accepts that they're there. And he kind of just moves on with his life. We appreciate that act. So, he's going on with his life and he's got to find out who he's got to follow the serial killer that's happening right now. And again, like I said, they use their powers, the two of them band together and try to use their powers to be able to hunt down who it is and they realize that it's a spirit jumping the bodies this mofo is scary he do it the most he has the ability to control you so if you don't want to do something you're gonna do it anyway if the show gets really 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 gory so if you have a problem with gore blood guts and terrorist attack don't watch it because there is kind of a terrorist attack kind of feel because he pro ends up providing people a bunch of people with guns and like shooting them and like literally just you know sh supplying random people with guns and they go into places and they just start shooting like one person he just put at his desk at work and started shooting and it's a real thing be it's a real odd thing because guns are illegal in Korea yeah, you know I mean? Guns are illegal in Korea, so there's no way that you can get a gun and be like, ah, yeah, <laughs> I'ma just start shooting and like, yeah. So it's not America; it's Korea. Guns are very much legal. I have a friend, an ugly friend, but a friend, lost hello friend. And oh my goodness, it's the most. Now, that's not the, the part of the story that like adds to the spookiness of the Halloween season. It's spooky season, and we all love zombies, don't we? 
Yeah. <laughs> we gotta deal with zombies in this show. I hate it. And they're not like, oh my gosh, zombie uh, wake up from the dead. Oh no, 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 honey. We all know about drugs. Drugs are also very much illegal in Korea. Can land you a good amount of jail time. And if you are found to be, you know, doing drugs while in Korea, jail time is like a maximum of like 15 years in prison. That's not okay. <laughs> so you can't be doing drugs. There is a drug that is going around in Korea that once you take it, you kind of turn into a zombie. And it's not crack, it's something above crack. <laughs> okay? What's that? Anyways, it's not crack, it's something above crack. And literally, if you take it, you get the urge to just eat human flesh. And it's so weird, and it's so creepy, and it's so scary. And the reason why it scared the out of me, even though I have dreams about zombies all the time, so, you know, the zombie part didn't really get your girl. The part that got the girl, got your girl, is the serial killer decides I'm a, I'm gonna remake this drug and I'm gonna do it in the most sinister way possible. So in Korea, you can they have this thing like service water, okay? So service water is like you get up and you get you know, get free water. You have a cup, just get drink the water that's there, and it's usually in these big containers like you know the ones that like you get a paper cut paper cup and you just like you know squirt it into your paper cup and you drink it. So one of the public water bottle things, he takes them, he fills them with the drugs, makes it into the water, and he puts them in three places, a restaurant, a sauna, and a movie theater. I ain't never drinking public water again. <laughs> never. I am never drinking public water again. Impossible, short, ten, never. Nega <laughs> onje. When did I ever drink public water? Because they drink it and they just start attacking people. Like, it's a fast work working drug. It'll probably work within like 10, 20 minutes. And you'll start, you'll, you'll just be, uh, <laughs> like, elevate. Your eyes are rolled back and you just crave human flesh. And you just, you just start biting people. And you start ripping people apart. And you can end up killing them because that's how much you bite. And it takes a long time for the drug to pass. So... Even afterwards, you're like, and it's easily addictive, very easily addictive. It's addict easily addictive, and it's very dangerous for anyone to take. And you don't really get, know that you're doing it <laughs> until you wake up and you realize, oh my god, I just consumed a whole bunch of human flesh, um, cannibalism. So, <laughs> it's, a, it's a scary drug. Um, but yeah, literally if the characters can't leave the, their home for a while because of like this is this is this is scary you're not allowed to drink public water you can only drink out of water bottles you're not really about to leave your home just in case i'm going for glittery glittery i literally like that's like the first people probably show like i said but like I said, this show kind of reminds me of the movie, of the play, Hamlet. Why? Because there is a set of every single character that you will meet that is going to die. I'm using the um, second part, the second part of this actual line. It's the fresh fruit, skin foods, um, lip and cheek palette. I love this stuff. Um, this one I think is also in. This is number six. This is, if you look for it, it'll be six. This will be five. And same brand and everything. I'm using this little burgundy color right here. I use the fall time, especially the fall. I'm going to use it for some lips. But, anyways, yeah. So, like I said, don't get attached to any of the characters. Why? Because you'll be very disappointed in life. Because my favorite characters happen to be uh, two non-main female characters, the two non-main characters. Um, and they were, it was um, a traffic cop and a chief of police and his daughter. Hmm. Yeah, they died. Let me tell you how they died, because it's effed up. So, 
the traffic the female traffic cop and the younger girl they're actually friends and the female traffic cop actually looks up to the chief of police the chief of their division very much so like that's like the person that she ends up you know asking to walk her down the aisle because she does end up trying to get married because the there's a young cop in within their division and he has fallen in love with this traffic cop at first for love at first sight he absolutely adores her and he's proposing and there you pl start planning a wedding and the four of them they're like really close now because this is like a small family especially since like i don't think she's in contact with her parents and um or they are have passed i can't remember which one but he has lost his wife and he has a younger daughter and they, the two of them are friends and they two badass characters i love them by the way they are the most badass characters out of everybody in the show they're also the most sane people out of everybody in the show everybody else is stupid <laughs> everybody else is like off their rocker but in this show the two of them they're just my two favorite characters like i said 13 times and the serial killer gets a hold of the fact that Pilsung knows these people the main, the main protagonist, the people that you're close to, he decides anyone that you come in contact with, I will kill them. Literally anyone you come into contact with, like, because they end up killing the girl at 7-Eleven. She just, she handed him his food over the counter and ran his credit card and they came in, they shot her. <laughs> and I was like, dang. You ain't even have to do all that. That was like unwarranted, uncalled for. You doing the most chill. And so, like, he's really, you know, made up on the idea of I'm killing any, any, and everybody that you come in contact with. So, your closest friends, I'm gonna kill them too. So he calls up the chief of police and the younger cop, and he's like, I've kidnapped both of the girls. And whoever kills the other first, the person that they love, will, you know, live. And you have to come at this time, and you have to do it before this time, or I'll just kill them both. This is very much bad. Why is this bad? Because, you know, that's my daughter, that's my wife, he, I don't want her dead. I really don't want her dead. So they get to the place and they attempt to, first of all, they attempt to find them. And it gets closer to the time that he said, I'll kill them both if you're not fast enough. And they have to kill each other to save the other. So they attempt to look for everybody. They're in this standoff and suddenly it's closer to the time and they can't do it anymore. The chief of police shoots the young man. and kills him and what they didn't know was the girls that have been kidnapped after freaking out for a good second or two like any other person they attempt to escape and they kind of almost make it um they almost get out but then like time runs out and as the younger girl is getting away time has run out her he's been shot so the younger cop is shot so they plan to kill his fiance, who is pregnant, by the way. Yeah, I'm a pregnant. So, they plan to shoot her. They sh end up shooting her. And as the girl's escaping, it's over the time limits, which they gave them to have everybody, you know, figured out by. And they shoot her, too. And in his grief, after learning that his daughter has been killed and after feeling guilt for what he's done, the chief of police proceeds to shoot himself. So what now? Everybody did. <laughs> There's like another cop, um, like I said, that Shaw and I talked about earlier that lost his powers. He dies. He ends up um, being forced to die too, randomly. Even though he tried to help at one point, randomly. But the show is like very gruesome, very much a uh, show of, oh, 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 oh. So if you're like into the spooky stuff and into like Korean dramas, I would recommend it. Because I loved it. 
I'm putting the blush on like my eye area because it blends out the sparkly burgundy more. And like it's just a show full of like pain and sadness. It's good. It's just it's not bad or anything. It's great. I love it. It's just a lot. There's stuff wrong with it. And it's just it makes you so very upset. It's just a it's a lot of dang, why can't we move this along? It's only like 16 episodes, but it feels like it takes so long. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The show feel, feels like it takes forever. And although that sounds annoying, it, it's not that annoying to me. Where did I put it? Oh man, I'm lost there. But yeah, it just takes a longer time within the show I love it I love the show it's a great show just wow it's a lot of death like I said all the characters end up dying even like the two pro the main protagonists and antagonists they be doing the most they tried to escape for no gosh darn reason they were like we can't do this no more because as I said it kind of resembles Hamlet the main character of Hamlet he clearly asked himself to be or not to be that is the question and the main anti the main protagonist he's continuously asked you know if you kill the woman you love which happens to be the main protagonist of course so so she he's like if you kill so i will leave i will exit the world and i just will move on and people outside of that are like you know kill her and we can save everybody like it's like one person for a million people type idea so, are you going to save her and let the world go to trash, or are you going to kill her and fix everything? At one point, she tries to decide for him, and she tries to commit suicide. She attempts suicide, and after attempting suicide, she's depressed, she's upset, she's sad. She's just not feeling life at the moment, and literally, I just feel so bad for her. I really do. I feel really bad for her after she committed suicide and he's like okay we can't do this this is too much for us specifically and he takes her and they leave they literally get up and just leave um they leave korea they to go toward they leave mainland seoul not korea they leave man, mainland seoul and they head to an island right off of it and that's where they stay for like a month or so and literally they kind of create their own life away from everything as the serial killer attempts to look for them and they stay on this island they make their own life they adopt a puppy they end up having to take care of this little girl and they have like their own family they end up taking care of this little girl because she's very sick and she's staying with her grandfather on the island and he doesn't have all the time in the world to take care of her and her parents are on the mainland trying to you know make more money and her father ends up getting her parents end up getting injured in the shooting and her grandfather has to go to the mainland so they end up taking care of her so it shows a whole lot a whole lot of And it's a good show, it really is, but like, it's one of those shows that you're like, emotion, sadness, or pain. <laughs> Over, overly emotional, very depressed, or you're just in pain overall. I would recommend it to anyone that really likes, you know, serial killer shows, if you really enjoy, like, shows that, you know, kind of out for justice but like have a like inkling of paranormal oh things you're just like wow that that wouldn't think that's what that would do so like strong women to one soon but darker because you've ever seen strong women to one soon also another really dark show with a, with a hint of romance or one of the shows i'm watching now is when the camilla blooms also another show that you're like wow this is really cute but really dark <laughs> so a bunch of these shows
they're cute and sweet in the beginning and then they start to get darker like literally the show a uh, possessed literally the scene start to get darker and darker like the scening just starts I just can't explain it like you can tell the episode's getting darker. The lighting, they start cutting out, cutting down on lighting. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of. Guys, if you like this, you know, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna do a B roll shot. A B, B roll shot. <laughs> I'm gonna do a B roll shot quickly. And that'll probably be the end of the video. I'm probably gonna do my hair real quick. Maybe put on mascara a little bit extra stuff to my eyebrows i don't know do the most <laughs> but yeah the show i would recommend to anyone that's really into spooky woogie and most things in general are something i you know a show i would recommend to anyone if you really like it you know if you really like the show or if you really like this episode of me talking and kind of doing my makeup let me know. I will do more. I think I'm going to end up doing one more definitely because we got to talk about what I'm doing in love. And all the stuff wrong with it. Because I just, I got to talk about this. Like I, I, I've never seen something so stupid in my life. Like I got to talk about this. Like this, you're not escaping that. So guys, I will see you um, in the B-roll shop. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like me any reason for reason at all um following all my social media i finally updated my social media link because i don't change the accounts so sorry if you've been trying to follow me and you could not i'm the problem i promise you i'm the problem <laughs> but um and follow me on aesthetically print as aesthetically princess on all my social media which is twitter and instagram and blue hair artist on my art page and now guys i have a ko-fi so if you're feeling the need to you know support me at any time please go check out my Kofi and you know add up some support i really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time bye